Hi everybody, uh, what we have here is a Samsung LE40 B530P. Uh, the problem with it is the backlights come up and then they shut down. Now, we have this problem, it's very hard to figure out whether it's the screen, the main board, the power supply. You don't know which is the problem. I'll just switch on here and I'll just, you'll see it come up briefly and then shut down. Takes a while to start up, but you'll see the left hand corner there, there you are, and then straight away it shuts down. Now, there is a way to figure out whether it's the power supply or the actual. Uh, backlight assembly inside the screen. So first of all, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, uh, override the uh, protection that's in it. Now this is not a fix. You can't leave the set with the protection uh, disabled. Uh, it's there for a reason. But uh, for me, uh, it, it says be ordering a power supply, and you could have a problem with your your backlights. So. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the video and have the back off and I'll show you the power supply and we'll start uh, taking it off. Now, here we are looking at the back of the set and this is the power supply here come inverter board. Uh, both of them are combined into one PCB. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, take this board off and uh, I'm going to show you the uh, component that I removed to disable the protection temporarily. I must have had. Uh, okay. Make sure everything is under load. Yeah, first of all, I'm going to remove this cable. And then we have one, two, three, four. Five, six screws to remove. Right. Now, should slide out, no problem. Component I'm going to move remove is JR860, which is this component here. There's two of them there together, but it's this one here. I'm going to remove that now. I'm going to unsolder it and uh, power it back up and see what happens. I'm just going to pause the video while I do that. Now, I've just unsoldered the component. As you can see, it's just sitting up proud of it. I've uh, just left this here, just put it there, but it's not connected, no longer connected to its circuit. I'm going to put back in its set now and uh, let's see what happens. I'm only going to put a couple of screws in to hold the board insecurely. But I do Okay. 
Right. Okay. Let's zoom back out there and see can we get it. Some fish. Okay. Right, I'm just going to plug it in and let's see what kind of picture we get. I hope we don't get it blind. Okay, as you can see, it's staying up. We're just going to put in some kind of a signal source now to uh, see what we've got. Now, as you can see here, now I don't know if it, the camera's picking it up, but at the top, along here, this end here, is actually darker than here. I see, can I get a white screen once? You can see a little bit there at the top there, especially uh, the camera's picking it up up there on the left hand side. But that's telling me one of the backlights is more than likely uh, faulty in it. Or we got a problem with the output of the actual inverter section of the power supply. Now I've already checked the actual uh, outputs of the inverter. They're all okay. Um, so if that leaves me now we have a a faulty screen and uh, more than likely I've come across these uh, uh, screens that uh, the actual tu fluorescent tube itself in the backlight assembly has slipped out of its connector and it would require uh, stripping down the screen and uh, just uh, reconnecting it but uh, that's for another video for now what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, um, uh, just uh, reassemble the unit uh, and I uh, will get back to you with the screen fix. Thanks for watching. I've just left one very important part out um, of the video. Um, these power supplies uh, have dangerous high voltages uh, present so if you're not familiar with them don't work on them. Get someone that uh, is experienced enough to handle uh, power supplies. The other thing is uh, the mains reservoir capacitor. It stores a charge, and when you're handling the board, uh, you can get a nasty shock uh, across your 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 fingers, your hand, wherever you you, you touch it. Um, so just bear that in mind. But uh, don't mess about it. If you're not sure what you're doing. Don't touch it. Uh, these these videos uh, uh, they, they do require you have a certain amount of experience what you're doing. Uh, thank you.